In recent years, the Air Force investigation of accident reports has revealed that 73% of pilot fatalities occurred while the aircraft was still on the ground. In order to reduce this high on-the-ground fatality rate, a program was initiated to develop an ejection seat which would allow safe ejection from the aircraft even during the takeoff or landing roll. One of the primary requirements of the new seat was that it separate from the pilot quickly and effortlessly. After preliminary development of the new seat was accomplished, testing began at Edwards Air Force Base. First came static firings from a dummy nose section. Static firings completed, the dummy nose section with seat installed was mounted on a rocket-propelled sled for further testing. The first test was on April 1, 1958. The purpose of this sled run was to confirm the parachute operation and seat separation systems. The sled was propelled at a planned velocity of 300 miles per hour to simulate flight speed conditions. Booster firing and sled operation were normal. Though seat ejection was normal, seat separation was not accomplished and the parachute failed to deploy. Much valuable information was gained, and except for the seat and parachute malfunctions, the firing was a complete success. After the information from test number one was assembled and evaluated, and further testing and altering was done on the seat separation system, the sled was ready for the next run. Sled run number two was scheduled for July 4th to demonstrate the now perfected seat separation device. The results of test number two were very similar to test number one. valuable information was gained, leading to further improvements on the seat separation system. Two more tests were scheduled. Test number three for September 1st. And test number four for October 12th. At the completion of test number four, the need for further refinement of the seat was being felt by the project engineers. An additional test was therefore scheduled for December 25th, 1958. This final test firing was the most successful of all in that seat separation was demonstrated. Parachute deployment might also have been demonstrated, however, due to a personnel error, the subject was not fitted with a parachute on this firing. A detailed report of these tests will be published early in 1959.